All right, hey everybody. Brian Newton, Golf WRX, Tomo Bystead, TaylorMade. We're here at the beautiful kingdom, and uh, we're actually out here with the brand new Stealth Driver from TaylorMade, which is a huge kind of a tech story thing. It's totally different than anything you guys have done before. Yep. Something that started long ago, which was kind of crazy, but I've actually had a few shots with it up here on the range, mm -hmm. and I'm shocked that this has a carbon fiber face, and if you didn't tell anybody, nobody would know. Right. And to focus on that, because that is the big story of this driver, I mean, this thing is a insert that's 60 layers, it's got a TPU outside, it's crazy how much tech went into this. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about this face and, and kind of how it came about. Yeah, so this has been, believe it or not, 20 years in the making. Wow. You know, we've been working for this 20 years, really obviously intensely on this product for the last few years. but. You know, the carbon face is the big story here, and it's, it's what's going to deliver that performance difference that people are going to notice out there, uh, whether you're looking for ball speed, that bigger face obviously going to give you forgiveness. And there's some other cool little details in here too. Like you said, it's 60 layers of carbon fiber, wow. and that's really what's delivering that performance um, and how it stays durable and how it stays flexible and how it delivers that ball speed that you're going to see. It also has an interesting layer on top. So we actually have a, a polyurethane material on top of the carbon. Uh, and that's there to dial in the launch conditions. So the yep. launch and the spin. So not only are you getting the ball speed benefit of the carbon, that lighter face uh, for better energy transfer, but you're also getting now launch and spin conditions that are perfect, both wet and dry. Because I know there's people out there who play in the wet too. So <laughs> that's why we have these full face score lines on here. It's gonna look different than what you've seen. Obviously the red color is really gonna stand out. Definitely and I'm does. hoping, you know, when guys walk into the golf shops are gonna see this, they're gonna have to hit it, right? People are gonna have to sure. hit it. Uh, you but know, men, women, kids, address. anybody. Right. An address though, like I was hitting balls up yeah. there, and really, unless I thought about it, it, it really wasn't that visible. Like I didn't really notice it during the, you know, during the swing. Right. You don't really see it, but when you see it here, it definitely stands out. Absolutely, and I think one of the things that we wanted to make sure is like, hey, that club should still look great at address. You yep. should, you know, the, the look that you see down on it uh, shouldn't be too busy. Shouldn't have too much going on. Obviously, the red face is going to pop a little bit. But at a dress, you're seeing it at a very acute angle, so you're not, it's not going to be staring back at you. Uh, obviously, the top of it is super subtle, very yeah. stealthy, <laughs> exactly. uh, as the name implies. And so, yeah, we, we love how it looks, and obviously our tour players have seen it, and they've tested it, and, and they're, they're loving it so far as well. And also, kind of a unique thing about the face is that it's a brand new technology, mm -hmm. something that you put years into. But it also has some old-school tailor-made DNA as well, because it's got inverted cone Correct. built into it, which is yeah. kind of wild. Well, so really, I mean, obviously what you want to do in any driver is you want to make sure the sweet spot is as big as possible, you know, and, and we focus on delivering speed where people are hitting it. So we've analyzed shot patterns, both for twist face, but also for speed, you know, making sure it's fast where it matters. And part of that is inverted cone of making sure that that CUR curve is as flat as possible, you know, so if you miss it a little bit in the toe or the heel, there's not a big drop off in speed, you know, you want to make that consistent. So again, it's, it's obviously fast, but it's also going to be really forgiving as well for a lot of golfers. And we all <laughs> it need that. It definitely is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hit a few out there. And and definitely, they went straighter than I thought they should. Mm -hmm. uh, but the amazing part is, is it does sound and feel like titanium. I mean, if you're really looking for it, maybe that initial, you know, that the ball leaves the face, it's a hair softer. Mm -hmm. But other than that, mm -hmm. the sound and everything is, is ex I mean, it's like titanium. Yeah. It's kind of wild. It is kind of surprising how metallic the sound yeah. is on this club, you know, and I think part of it is just the construction overall. It's, it's just so dialed in for sound and feel. And that's what we do at TaylorMade. And you know, we spend a lot of time on that. And it's a very important part of the overall performance. You know, I think the experience of getting the numbers, getting the speed, getting the launch and spin and left to right and everything is obviously critical. But if it doesn't sound and feel good, that's not a complete golf club. And that's yep. really why this sounds so good. Yeah, no, and, it, yeah. and it's excellent. Like I said, I've hit that. So that's a Stealth. There's all, or that's mm -hmm. a Stealth Plus. There's mm -hmm. also a Stealth and then the Stealth HD. Yep. So three models. Mm -hmm. Definitely get out and try one of them because they, they really are able to kind of blow your mind in terms of they shouldn't sound and feel like that, but yeah, they do. Yeah. So they're really good. But Tomo, thank you very much. Awesome. Really appreciate it. And uh, look forward to hitting some more shots with the stuff. Awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it.